Hi, I'm Brogan Hayes, and you're watching One to Watch. This week in Irish cinemas, there is a little bit of fun going on. We've got the Irish film Noble about Christina Noble, who did huge work for the street children of Saigon. We have 20,000 Days on Earth, which is actually a scripted film about Nick Cave and not the documentary that it's made out to be. But none of these are my one to watch this week. Instead, this week's one to watch is Wish I Was Here. Zach Braff plays Aidan Bloom, who's a struggling actor with two sort of young kids. He's married to Sarah, who's played by Kate Hudson. And at the start of the film, he gets some bad news from his dad, Mandy Patinkin, and he can no longer financially support Aiden and his family. So suddenly Aiden can't afford to keep his kids in the fancy schmancy private school that they're used to and has to find a way to connect with his dad, with his kids, and find where it is that he actually belongs in life. The film is written by Zach Braff and his brother Adam, and so of course Braff has an emotional involvement in the script of the film. So to that end, he does play Aiden, the central character, with this lovely blend of tenderness and frustration. He seems to be a character who's in his mid to late 30s and has found himself at this odd place which he never imagined he would be, which is completely relatable. Joey King and Pierce Gagnon play the Bloom kids and they each bring these insecurities and wonderful sort of childlike and pre-teen frustrations and obsessions to the role. Mandy Patinkin plays, once again, plays the gruff father figure, but we know this is something that he does well. And Josh Gad turns up in there as Aiden Bloom's brother. The story is huge and sprawling and tiny and engaging in very different ways in that all of this is thrown at Aiden at the same time. And at times you're kind of going, oh my god, how can one character deal with no money, no job, because he's a struggling actor, kids that are, can't go to school so he has to homeschool them, the fact that his father is dying, trying to engage with his estranged brother, trying to engage with his wife, all while finding where it is that he belongs in life. But any of us who have lived more than two days of life will know that life isn't ordered and it is chaotic and things get thrown at you all the time on top and on top and on top and on top and we've absolutely no control over a lot of what happens to us but what we can control is the way that we respond to it and that's something that Wish I Was Here captures really really well. There is this sci-fi element to the story where Aiden has always imagined himself to be a superhero and I get what Braff and Braff were trying to do with this, that they were trying to reconcile Aiden's current life with the superhero and the the idea of himself that he has in his head but they don't always quite meet and to be honest, they're so infrequent that when they do happen, they sort of pull you away from the family drama that is the centre of the film. As director, it's like Braff, you've seen Garden State, he has a lovely way of observing life and the small moments in life, and he does it again here in Wish I Was Here. Out of 10, I'd give Wish I Was Here 8. It is a film with flaws, and it is a film that is a lot more self-conscious than Garden State was. It seems that Braff is aware of the legacy of Garden State and the fact that he sort of has to live up to this in a way and there are times when Wish I Was Here feels like a companion piece or a 10 years on sort of piece from Garden State but it's not quite as assured and steady as Garden State was and like I said the sci-fi scenes don't always work that well but that said there are great moments with the kids, the chemistry between Kate Hudson, Zach Braff and the two kids is lovely. Until next week your one to watch this week is Wish I Was Here. If you're not a Zach Braff fan or you just don't think you could listen to The Shins, in which case you're wrong, do go and see 20,000 Days on Earth, Nick Cave's sort of scripted documentary film. It is fantastic. I, I do say that with the caveat that I am a Nick Cave fan as well. But until next week, go and see Wish I Was Here. I've been Brogan Hayes and this all up in here has been one to watch. Thank you.